Hotel Transylvania has finally come to an end with the fourth installment of the franchise. The film took a while to release as it was delayed heavily by the pandemic and was finally released in January of 2022. The film was set to release a few months prior in October, which made more sense. But now that the film is out, fans are more excited than ever. The film is riddled with Easter eggs and secrets, and today we're going to cover them. So stay tuned to today's video as we're going to discuss Hotel Transylvania 4 Easter eggs and secrets fans totally missed. First up, we have a new voice for Dracula. One of the things that might have gone over your head is that Dracula has a different voice in this movie. It's kind of hard to notice, but Adam Sandler is no longer voicing Dracula for some reason. If you somehow don't know already, Adam Sandler had been voicing Dracula in the Hotel Transylvania series since the beginning. He's voiced the character in everything that he appeared in, from promotional materials to video games. However, for this release, he is no longer playing the character. Do we know the reason for this? Well, not exactly. Neither Sony nor Adam Sandler has commented on the change in voice, but it was most likely due to a scheduling conflict or another reason. Adam Sandler isn't one to argue over pay, so clearly something happened behind the scenes that we don't know about. Ryan Hall is the new voice actor for Dracula, a voice acting YouTuber with a large following. He's mainly known for his impressions of other cartoon characters. He's a good fit for the character, but it's still sad to not see Adam Sandler reprise his role. Did you know about this one? Let us know down in the comments section below. And now we have Dirty Joke. The next Easter egg or secret moment that fans might have missed is another case of a dirty joke made for adults or teenagers. Though these films are primarily created for children, they do have some moments that are funnier if you're old enough to understand them. At one moment early in the movie, we see Happy Anniversary spelled out on stage, held up by some werewolf pups. These pups fall due to some unforeseen circumstances and the letters are rearranged. They now spell out fine ass. Of course, children won't understand this joke, and it's there for adults or teenagers to spot. In this scene, we see Dracula notice what has happened and freeze time to rearrange the letters as they should have been. This moment is hilarious if you noticed it. What do you think? Let us know down below. Next up is Van Helsing and the Dinner Table. Objects in the background of animated films are often some of the most interesting things about them. Because they have been placed there on purpose, they usually have some insane details that you might have missed. With this Easter egg, there are two scenes to talk about. One comes from Van Helsing's lab. In this scene, we follow Van Helsing through his laboratory and see lots of different things in the background, from a giant shark skeleton to a giant robot, and even a large skeleton of a beast we have never seen in the franchise before. You could look through those scenes for hours and still find new and interesting things. Another scene that has some really cool Easter eggs is the dinner table scene. One of the coolest things on the table is the knife, forks, and salt shaker. These are no normal knife or forks on the table at all, and the salt and pepper shakers are actually small Iron Maiden torture devices. It's safe to say that the animation experts on this film had a fun time designing the background and hidden details in this scene. Now is... Invisible Guy. The Invisible Guy in all of these Hotel Transylvania movies has always been a character people loved to theorize about. An entire group of fans decided that this character was handsome and the perfect man. They loved this idea so much that they wanted it to come true. Others just saw this as another character who we might get to see one day. Well, Hotel Transylvania 4 introduced our first look at this character in the trailer for the movie and of course in the final product. The film sees all of our favorite monsters turned into humans, and humans turned into monsters. Many of them just look like normal people, but when we finally see the invisible guy, the fan base went crazy. It turns out that this character has just been naked the entire time, which means that some crazy things might have happened without us even thinking about or realizing it. He's also a fat dude, and nothing like the internet painted him out to be. It was a crazy 
crazy moment for this fan base and show just how funny the animators wanted to be with this final entry in the series. Our final hidden secret is that there was social media influence on the film. The final thing for us to go over is that the film actually had some moments that were influenced by social media trends and stars. In one scene, we see the wolf character start to dance in order to create a distraction for Dracula. At this moment, many might just think he dances randomly, but he actually does a bunch of TikTok dances. If you keep an eye on TikTok, you might have noticed that he did the Renegade, which was extremely popular back in 2020. He does others, but this is the biggest one. It was so popular that it even made its way into Fortnite. Another thing that happened on social media was the inclusion of Ninja. The popular Twitch streamer, also known as Tyler Blevins, was also in the film. He has a character based around him, and they look very similar. It's just a small moment, but it shows that the creators are paying attention to what is popular right now. Did you notice this final secret Easter egg? Let us know down in the comments section below. Hotel Transylvania is now over. The fourth installment has been officially titled its last. It's sad to see as this franchise has some amazing fans and has been going on for ages now. Even though this film was delayed because of COVID, it did pretty well and was a great send-off to the series. What did you think of this final entry to the series? Let us know down in the comments section below. And now on to some other movie news. After Ever Happy, release date, plot, and cast details. Unlike many other things that people are waiting for nowadays, we do actually have a release date for this film. The film is set to release in the U.S. on September the 7th, 2022, and is going to release earlier in Europe on August 24th and August 25th, only in cinemas. Sadly, you won't be getting this film in cinemas if you live in the United Kingdom or France, as this fourth movie is set to release on Amazon Prime, just like After We Fell. The date for this digital release hasn't been announced yet, but the third movie was released only a month after it was in cinemas, so that should be the time frame to keep an eye out for. If you also don't know already, there is a trailer out for this new movie, so go and check it out if you want to see some of the film before it's released later this year. And finally, the Expendables franchise needed a break before its fourth film release. When the first Expendables movie was released, it met critical acclaim, and action fans all around the globe fell in love with it. Everyone loved how the film put all our action heroes in one movie and did a great job with its story and characters. Actors like Terry Crews got their big breaks, and the other actors in the film really showed that even at an older age, they could still kick some ass in an action movie. Because of the success of Expendables 1, a sequel was commissioned not long after, and that one also met critical acclaim and was very successful overall. Just like with the first one, because of the success of the sequel, another film was announced. This time, things didn't go as planned. The third movie didn't do so well at the box office office and had the lowest grossing of all three movies. The film was given a PG-13 rating, which seems to be the reason it completely died at the box office. It was misleading to what actually was in the movie, so people didn't see it in the first place. Out of the three movies, the third one is easily the weakest out of them all. The cast was amazing, but way too large for anyone to actually care about or for the movie to have a guiding point. The film showed that the franchise needed a break, one where they could focus on a few characters instead of 20. This means that Expendables 4 should have had a better writing plan and have gotten a better story because of it. And that's the end of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know down in the comments section below? It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching today's video. Bye!